Facebook wants to get inside your head. If Facebook is the future, then you can bet it's going to be filled with some pretty nifty brain control technology. Plans for the new tech were unveiled during the group's annual F8 conference in San Jose, California. Facebook's research group Building 8 is developing a silent speech interface, so users will be able to type with their brains via non-invasive sensors. The technology will tap into the brain's speech center, decoding brain waves and feeding them directly to a computer. The goal is to create a system capable of typing 100 words per minute. Facebook is also working on a project to allow people to hear through their skin. An electronic device will administer frequencies in different patterns on the forearm. Users feel it and decipher the word based on the pattern. Both projects have a two-year deadline. However, the Skin Hearing Initiative has yet to establish an end goal and is not as advanced as the brain-computer interface. For tech that's not so out of reach, there's Facebook Spaces, a new VR app that's just been released on beta for the Oculus Rift. The platform allows for hangouts in virtual reality space. Users can pull in outside content from across the internet, making for a fascinating yet also slightly bizarre experience. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash tomonews. Keep watching to see what else the future has in store. Human trials on bionic spine to start next year. There may be new hope for people with spinal cord injuries thanks to a device that is being hailed as the holy grail in bionics. Australian scientists are developing a bionic spine that could allow paralyzed patients to move using the power of thought. The device, a stent electrode recording array, or stentrode, is the size of a small paperclip. Once inserted into the jugular vein using a catheter, it is pushed up to a blood vessel in the brain, where it then expands. Electrodes on the stent record electrical activity from the motor cortex, which controls movement and translates it into commands. The commands are sent to a transmitter embedded just below the chest, which then sends them wirelessly to an exoskeleton or a wheelchair, allowing the patient to move. Scientists tested the stent on a sheep for 190 days and are set to do human trials on three paraplegic patients next year. The project was three years in the making and was partially funded by Australia's National Health and Medical Research Council, as well as by the U.S. Army. Digital contact lens gives a glimpse into the future. Tech giant Sony has joined the race to develop digital contact lens technology. According to an application filed with the U.S. Patent Office, Sony has plans for a wearable lens that can take photos and video. Sony filed a patent in the U.S. in May of 2013 for a smart contact lens, a fact only picked up by the media this week. The device would not only take photos and video, but also store data with no need for a tether to a smartphone. The lens would feature an organic electroluminescence display screen. By blinking an eye, the user would be able to operate the lens via the display. The camera would feature autofocus, automatic exposure adjustment, and an adjustable zoom. The device would also be able to record video, store it, and play it back. The news that Sony has been working on this technology for several years follows a trend set by Google and Samsung. In 2014, Google revealed a high-tech lens to help diabetics measure glucose levels in their tears. Samsung unveiled plans for a smart contact lens that houses a tiny camera. It seems the time when anything and everything can be filmed on the sly is not too far away. Electronics just became a lot more wearable. A new body of work by a group of Japanese engineers could have us staring at the backs of our hands instead of our phones. A research group from the University of Tokyo has developed an electronic skin that can be worn like a temporary tattoo. The e-skin, although composed of several layers, is only three micrometers thick. It's also flexible and can withstand crumpling and distortion. A protective layer keeps out oxygen and water vapor, enabling the prototype to function for several days. Currently, the device can work as a pulse oximeter, measuring blood oxygen levels via light-emitting diodes that are laminated on the finger. The team is working on ways to further the technology, which in the future can be used to monitor people's health. 
With advancements like this that fuse technology and biology, it may only be a matter of time before we all start wearing our smart devices like second skin. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. MIT designs smart tattoo that can control your phone. A group of PhD students from MIT Media Lab in collaboration with Microsoft Research have developed a smart tattoo that can not only remotely control your gadgets, but is also quite fashionable too. One version of the smart tattoo has an input function using capacitive touch sensing. The gold leaf functions as electrodes and is attached to a touch controller that filters all raw data. Once the tattoo is applied onto the skin, the user can swipe or click on the tattoo as a trackpad. Another version of the smart tattoo uses skin as a display. A layer of thermochromic ink is added to the tattoo, which changes color when exposed to high temperatures. A third version contains an NFC chip that connects to a coil made of gold leaf, which allows users to exchange data via near-field communication. Researchers say the tattoos can be designed into any pattern and can even include LED lights. The materials needed to construct this technology are highly accessible, which means the total cost of making one of these tattoos is less than $5. New technology turns skin into smartwatch touchscreen. A team of scientists have developed a new technology that can make the skin on your arm act like a touchpad for a smartwatch. The skin track technology requires the user to wear a ring and a sensor attached to a smartwatch strap. The sensor has four electrodes that are used to receive the high-frequency electrical signals. These signals are emitted by the ring when the finger touches the skin and calculates the exact position of the finger. The technology allows the user to swipe and tap his or her arm to interact with the smartwatch. The user is even able to paint a picture on the arm. The user can also drag apps off the watch and place them onto the entire arm. Hotkey commands can activate functions through shortcuts. For example, users can simply write an S on the arm to silence an incoming call. There are no concrete commercial plans for the skin track. The team says it is working on supplying constant power to the ring and maintaining a steady signal when the body is in constant motion.